Got one. Hey guys, welcome back to a very special Red Beard Outdoors episode. Today I went fishing at Melvin Lake, Kansas. I woke up about 5 a.m. and drove an hour and a half to uh, get to this lake. And by the time I was on the water and hooked up with that fish you just saw in that little clip, it was about 7.30 a.m. in the morning. This video didn't quite go uh, as planned. I had such a good day on the water I completely scratched my intro out on the lake and decided to do a new one. So within 16 minutes I hook up on a good size smallmouth and decided hey I need to scrap this intro and do a whole new one and retwist the video around to keep you guys on the edge of your seat. So we're going to move forward with some other footage, I'm going to save that footage. Please stick around till the end of the video and you will see me catch my personal best smallmouth. Let's get started and show you how my day went. Dang it, I just missed one. Oh. I choked it. Choked it. Choked. Little guy, not a keeper. Whoa! That guy took off, didn't he, Sandy? Molly, number three, A little dink a dink. It's motor, huh? Candy. Sorry to interrupt guys, I just hooked on to another giant, at least a giant for me. Um, it's a new species for me, I'm not really familiar with it, but uh, I'm going to cut this footage right here and I'm also going to put this at the end of the video because I got two personal bests fast today. 
you're not going to want to miss it, so stay, stay tuned to the end of the video, I'll see you then. What a dink. Swiped on it. Another small mouth. Oh crap. No small mouth, guys. How did he not get that? Little sunfish. Swiping it. It shouldn't be. Little dinky dink sunfish. I should give him to my bass for a snack. Just miss one, guys. That one. It's gonna jump. It's tiny. Little dink smallmouth. Shandy, what do you think? What do you think? Stupid. That's stupid. I'm not a smart man. In front of the boat. Get.
Yeah, and large mouth. Yeah, pretty tiny. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? No, she doesn't yell. She doesn't yell. Correction, small mouth. I'm not a smart man. Little dink. That's a large mouth. Shed popping right here. Hopefully, I can get one to chase this shad imitator crankbait. Got one. Oh my gosh. Tiniest fish in the world. Large mouth. Come here.
What the heck? What the heck, Shandy? That large mouth. It's a large mouth. It's a large mouth. Ew, ew. Not the guy I'm looking for. All right, guys, here's the part where I'm going to show you my personal best smallmouth right here. Um, the little backstory on what happened was I unloaded off the boat ramp. There was a couple guys fishing that spot that I did a lot of research on and I really wanted to fish. So I went up the shore about 100 yards and fished away from them for a little bit. I was kind of watching them at the boat ramp and they were using a top water. And I actually saw that they missed a few fish. To me, the top water bite wasn't really getting it done. I had a Ned rig and a spinning rod and used that to uh, get hooked up right here. So uh, once they moved out of there, I uh, rolled in behind them and threw that Ned rig. And here's what happened. Check it out. Got one. It's a good one guys, it's a good one. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> Ooh, doggy. Oh, that's a good one, guys. <laughs> the deadly Nedley. Oh my gosh. Choked it. 
completely choked it. Right in the roof of the mouth. My PV by eight ounces. That's what I'm talking about. He's going to the live well now. He's going into the live well now. Yes. Woo. Twenty minutes. on this next part I rolled into the marina and I was using a sexy shad square bill crankbait rolling it along some rocks and um, hooked into this next fish uh, at the time I'm not too familiar with this fish species because we don't have a lot of it around where I live my new PB on this fish catch is for a spotted bass so at the time I wasn't even paying attention I was so excited I caught a decent sized fish that I just assumed it was a smallmouth, and now that I edited all the footage, I realized it was a spotted bass. I'm glad I measured it, I'm glad I waited and got that information to realize after editing the video, hey, I hooked into a, a spotted bass, not a largemouth. So, this fish was super beautiful. I can't get over the stripes and the color that this fish had. So I'm gonna roll that footage right now and roll the footage of me releasing it. So check it out. Look at that guy. So rough from these rocks. inches. 
two pounds. Like I said, this video didn't go as planned whatsoever. So, thanks for sticking around. I'm glad uh, you guys are still watching and enjoyed my personal best catches with a smallmouth and a spotted bass. Um, some of you guys might be thinking, oh, those aren't very big. But for me, um, I got serious bass fishing about two years ago. Uh, when I bought a boat. Living in Kansas, the fish aren't as big as they are down south or as far as smallmouth goes up north. For me, I'm very excited to catch those size of bass. And I can only go up from here, so uh, stay tuned. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and like the video if you enjoyed it. And hit that notification bell to get notified of my upcoming videos. Hopefully I can up these personal bests bass requirements. So my next fishing adventure, I'm heading to Grand Lake, Oklahoma, and there's pretty good sized bass on that lake. So make sure you stay tuned and check that out. Hopefully I can hook into a giant largemouth up there. Even a small mouth, maybe a spotted bass, who knows. But I will see you guys on the next Redbeard Outdoors episode. Remember, Get outdoors and keep fishing. I'll catch you guys later.